Welcome back to New England Crypto. In today's video, we are assembling an ASRock H510 Pro BTC Plus mining motherboard. Tech Shinji sent this over to us as part of some collab content we have planned coming up in the near future. So keep your eye out for that. This is Mrs. New England Crypto's first time assembling a motherboard of any kind. First, we start with the CPU. If you look at the exact shape and layout of the CPU and the exact shape and layout as the CPU socket of the motherboard, you will see which way it goes. Next up is the CPU cooler or heat sink and cooling fan. We kept this in real time and didn't edit out any of the original audio so that you guys can see how long things may take for a first time builder and so you can hear the clicks of the cooler attachment, RAM, and things like that. Don't forget about the CPU fan to motherboard connection. This one's just a little bit tricky, but if you take a look at the connector and where it plugs into the motherboard where it's labeled CPU fan, you will see exactly how it plugs in. Now let me get out of her way for a second so she can remember exactly what comes next. Ah, yes. The SSD. This mining motherboard gives you multiple options for the operating system. You can do an M.2 SSD, the more traditional SSD like we have here, or you can put it on a USB thumb drive. Did you hear that click? Perfect. And here's the SSD's SATA power connection. Now, onto the power connections for the CPU and the motherboard. If you don't know already, the CPU power connectors can be downright painful. Most of these motherboards, for mining at least, need an 8-pin CPU power connector, and most of the CPU power wires have split ends that you need to hold together when plugging them in. So don't feel bad if this fights you. It happens to all of us. I had to pause quick while filming to go over a few things with her again and then let her execute it on her own. Click click. Got them both. Perfect. The 24 pin motherboard connection can be a little tricky also, but nothing like that CPU wire. And it will also usually have an audible click when inserted all the way. Oh, and don't forget that stick of DDR4 RAM. Click. Thanks for watching.